Now this test problem is on trigonometric function sine of x and we will explore and find what is the domain and range of a transformed sine x function. The question here is given f of x equals to sine x find domain and range of g of x which is equals to 3 times f of 2 minus x plus 5. Now as you know domain of sine x let's first write down domain and range for sine x. The domain for sine x is x belongs to real numbers, right? There is no restriction. As far as the range is concerned, range is, we are considering y equals to sine x first. Range is that x belongs to real numbers, so that x is between minus 1 and plus 1. So the range is restricted. Now, when we are talking about the transform function, which is, let me write g of x, equals to 3 times f of 2 minus x, which I prefer to write as minus of x minus 2, right? Bracket close, plus 5. Now, since the domain is all real numbers, right? So since the domain is all real numbers, then for g of x, domain is also going to be all real numbers, right? So there is no restriction on domain. So for transform sine x function, domain is going to be all real numbers. However, range is restricted. Now how will the range change? It should get multiplied by 3 and then we should add 5 to it. That is how it changes, right? So as you know, the y values will get multiplied by 3 so let me write down the transformation for y values. So originally, if y is my value, it gets multiplied by 3, and you have to add 5, correct? Now if I do that on these two values, well, this should be y, okay? So if I multiply this by 3 and add 5, what do I get? Minus 3 plus 5 is plus 2, right? How about this point? 3 times 1 is 3. 3 plus 5 is 8 and therefore our range will change and range for the transform function is going to be should be y y belongs to real numbers so that y is between 2 and 8 both included right that is how you can straight away find your domain and range from the function using transformation right you could always sketch the function and also find the answer. But I prefer doing it this way, right? It's all up to you. You can sketch and find or you can just translate or transform the function and get the points. I hope that helps. Thank you.